So what's going on guys, this is AO with AOJ or Photography and Video, and today we're going to be testing out the Vimble 2 by Fiu Tech. Let's open it up, see what's in the box. So you got the gimbal, you got, let's see what this is, oh, you got the tripod foot, so you can sit it down when you're not using it. You got some instruction manuals and warranty information. Charging cable. All right, let's take the gimbal out. All right, so put the tripod fit on, you just screw it in the bottom. And now you can open that up so when you're not using the gimbal, you can sit it down. All right, so just take your phone. You're gonna place it in the cradle. Both parts will open up and then you just slide your phone all the way to the edge. All right, so as you can see here, it's not balanced. And this is one thing that I do like about the Vimble 2. To adjust it, you literally just pull that arm out or push it in. So as you see, it went the other way, so we did it the wrong way, so we just push it in, a couple clicks. And now, one more click probably. Go back. And then that's pretty balanced. It actually feels good. Out of the box, the pan speed is a little fast. It's not very cinematic, it spins really fast. But the way you hold it, it actually feels pretty nice. And then this trigger, you're supposed to be able to press the trigger and it's supposed to lock so it doesn't move at all. So I actually like that a lot because on my Smooth Q, you have to press the mode button to change the modes, which sometimes you never know what mode you're in. But with this, to be able to just press the trigger, and now it's in lock mode, it's kind of nice. Now I can get crane shots, now I can let go, and I can go back to a pan or a tilt. So let's get some shots and let's see how smooth it is. All right, so what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna frame him up how I want to without pressing the trigger. So he's in the center. Now I'm gonna squeeze the trigger. And I'm gonna go down to the low angle position. All right, go ahead, start walking. As I crane up, I'm gonna smoothly let go of the trigger. And then I'm gonna try to pan around him so I can continue to follow him. So we just finished filming with the Vimble 2. I actually really like it. And at a price point of $99, you just can't beat it. First off, I mean, it fits in your hand really well. The tripod foot is really small and compact, so it's not gonna take up, take up a lot of space in your bag. And then the, the big key feature is this trigger. So you're gonna be in follow mode, but when you press that trigger, it now goes into lock mode, so none of the axes move. And with the other gimbals, you have to press different modes you have to press the mode button to change the mode that you're in. So you may press it once and then it goes into the lock mode. And then you press it two times to go into full follow mode. And then if you don't remember the sequence you press, you don't know which mode you're in. For this, you're going to be in follow mode. You want to go to lock mode, you press the trigger. It's in lock mode. That's a lot easier to remember. And when you're in the middle of a shot on like a wedding day or like anything, it doesn't matter what it is. To be able to just press the trigger to get a locked off shot is really nice versus having to press a button two times or one time or three times. And then also you still have the joystick. You can press a joystick to rotate it left or right or up or down. So I haven't downloaded the app yet, but once I download the app, I'll be able to change some of the speeds of these settings. This is, this is too fast for me. I probably want to slow that down about 50%. So when I rotate it left or right, or if I pan left or right, the speeds are a lot slower and it'd be a little bit more cinematic. Like I would never pan that fast unless I'm doing like a whip pan. So I would just slow that down. And then also you'll be able to use this zoom in, in and out feature if you use the app. Who is this gimbal for? I think it's for anyone. Even if you're a professional videographer, sometimes if you're going to record your kids or if you're at a family vacation, you may not want to bring your big heavy camera set up. 
your phones these days can get really good video footage in 4K, and this little small compact gimbal can fit right in your pocket or right in your bag, and you can get really great tracking shots of your kids playing. And then it's really simple and easy for the mom or dad at home who's never filmed anything to be able to pull out their phone, put it right on it, and use it. And then there's one more feature that I almost forgot to talk about. It has a selfie mode. You can pull this straight up. And now you can do a selfie mode to get shots. How cool is that? So you take your phone, let's turn this around. Place your phone in the cradle. Oh, let's not show that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, I ran into the tree that time. All right, so we just finished filming with the Vimble 2. I actually really like the gimbal. You know, for a 90, for the, 